Okay, it's Saturday night, 6.35 p.m. I got 70 miles left. Uh, that's what I ended up with after last night. So I'm about to head to the gas station, gas up, and let me get this Saturday started. All right, that's where I am right now. 13 and a half gallons just about. So I don't know, let's see how many miles I got in this thing. Let's go over here and check this out. What do we got? Show me something good. Show me something good. What do we got? 386. I could deal with that. 386 miles. All right, bet, bet. With a new charge pipe, I bet I get over 400. Let's go. We got $40 sitting over from last night, so we're going to make sure we don't include 40 in our totals for the day. And let me see. We got a lot of good money out there, a lot of good money. If you look around, I mean, it's just, it's surging like crazy right now on Lyft. And it's 645, kind of like rush hour traffic. Let's open up Uber real quick. Let's see something. I want to see if they got surge out there on Uber. Probably don't, because Uber never surges. They're one of those cheap-ass, roguish-ass apps that just want to play the shit out of drivers, and they mad about that whole article and shit right now. Look at that. We got 825 around the corner that way, $14 down the street that way. Let me let me turn it on real quick to see if this shit disappears. All right, make sure I'm on Uber Pet. What the hell's wrong? All right, let's go. Okay, I'm on Uber Pet right now. We got $14 down the street. And wh what street is that on? Is that on Rule or something like that? McClintock. McClintock and Elliott. Nah, that's pretty busy over there. I know where that is. That is slamming over there. We got 14, and we got six down there, 825. Let me go back over on lift. Let's see if it's some surge down south. If it's surge down south, yeah, it's a little surge down south. So I could go for the 14 on Uber. Oh, but it's a lot of traffic ahead of me right now, man. It's crazy traffic out. I probably won't make it over there, not with this much traffic. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Hold up for a second. This is how much traffic is out there right now. Like, I'm sitting at the gas station still. Ain't nothing but traffic. Like I said, you I couldn't even pull out the gas station this way. I had to come out on a side street just to come out. This is Baseline in front of me right now. And Baseline is one of the busiest streets in South Phoenix. Baseline and Southern are the two busiest streets down here. As you can see, these cars, they don't stop. This is all traffic. And when you get closer down to 48 where the construction is going, oh, it's going to build up down there. There ain't no way you're getting across down there. So the 14 is still sitting there. Like I said, I, I got Paw Patrol on right now. So this is the surge out there for Uber right now. 725 and all that stuff the other way, $12. The 14 is there, 825 up. Over on Lyft, what do we got? I'm probably not sitting in bonus yet. $17 ride requests have not been matched yet. That's right over there. That's probably about 20 miles. I say it's about 21, 22 miles for that $17. And it's probably going in the opposite direction. Damn, 27 miles. Holy shit. 27 miles for $17. Nope, we ain't doing that. Definitely not doing that. Um, $11 that way. Yeah, they got surge over that way down the street. But man, damn, all the way down to the, for a $12 to take them all the way south. And it ain't shit down there. So, no, we're not going to do that. But what I am going to do. Start this car up. Let's fire this motherfucker up real quick. Um, that has a stop too. Nine dollars. Nope. So let's turn these apps off. I'm gonna turn lift off at least. Let's turn lift off because they're just gonna send a bunch of trash right now. Because I'm not sitting in in a surge, so they're gonna send me trash. So let's go over on Uber and see if they're gonna like move these around. Let's go UberX and Share. I wanna see something real quick. Let's see what kind of shit rides they send me on Share. They probably send me like a couple of garbage rides. Yep, there we go, right off the bat. Five miles for about five dollars, almost. It's like, yeah, we won't be doing that, definitely. 983, nah, not to go no 12, 13 miles. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn off Uber 2 while we at it. Let's go back, turn off Uber X. Let's keep it on Uber Pet. That way we got it on Paw Patrol and I can actually move around a little bit. I can move around. We're going to see if we can go look at this $14 down the street real quick. Uh, woo, man, I can feel this thing. It wants to go. Woo, woo. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Oh, I'm going to put it on. Damn, that sounded good. I'm going to put it on sport mode in a second. I'm going to see what it sounds like in sport mode. 
this thing wants to go. Yeesh. They're going to be like, man, what the hell is that? All right, now I got the car in sport mode. You about to hear something cool now. Watch this. Listen to this shit. Hold up. Let me make this left turn. All right, I'm making this left. I'm about to hit it. Watch this. That thing will fly. That thing gets up right there. Holy shit. That's sport mode. <laughs> that was crazy. That thing launched. Everybody's way back at the light back there. This thing can go now. What's up? Let's go. Let's go. This turbo kick in. You got three inches of air going through the intake instead of two and a half. And that little cubic inch space right there, it makes a big difference. Trust me. I'm taking it off of sport mode. Now, sport mode is for me. It ain't for nobody else. That's for me when I got my own free time. I don't mess around with customers in my car. Hey man, put it in sport mode. Nope, nope, nope. Hey man, you got sport plus? Don't mess with me, man. Don't mess with me. Fuck around, total my car out trying to show y'all some dumb shit and y'all gonna just get another Uber and I'm sitting on the side of the road with a total out BMW. I ain't stupid, motherfucker. I know the game. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, let's go ahead and turn on lift real quick. See what we got out here. Like I said, there's a lot of traffic. I'm gonna have to go park somewhere. $10 to go backwards. No, we're not going backwards. I'm already way going this way. Sorry, Liv. You guys got to triangulate me. See where the fuck I am and where I'm going. You guys got me going in the wrong direction. 325, give me some about two, three miles. No, not that far. Man, that's crazy. So I got to go down the Wire Horse Pass, pick somebody up, and then come, go all the way back 24 miles north. Nah, we cool on that shit. Not for no $23, we not. And this traffic? Yeah, right five miles no i'm going backwards again y'all killing me man five miles for like nine dollars y'all got me going backwards i'm going this way come on y'all gotta keep up with the keep up with the pace keep up with the pace y'all know where i'm going eleven dollars for eleven miles nah we cool on that shit there's way too much traffic out here for that kind of shit like I said, I'm just looking for something real short. A little quick hop. Get my night started off with something easy. I'm getting out of the surge. So once I'm out of the surge, I'm going to turn the shit off. Like I said, I got to go sit somewhere. $11 for 11 miles. Mm, nah, you got me going south and I'm already past that intersection already. Like I said, once I pass the intersection, I'm gone. I don't shit. $10 to go backwards. Nah, what we're going to do is turn this shit off because they're not sending me nothing right now. Let's turn this shit off. They sending me a bunch of shit that's not going in the direction I'm going, nor is it like, it's at every intersection that's behind me instead of in front of me. So I don't think they're ready to work yet. I'm listening to me some music, go up here and park somewhere and see which app is gonna be ready to start working. I'm sitting in Mesa right now. I'm in the left turn lane and I bet they're gonna give me something to the fucking right. What did I tell you? $6 for that? Oh, let's take it. Cause where they at? Oh shit, they're right next to me at the fucking, ah shit. I'm telling you, they always do this fucking shit, man. They're fuck. These apps are weird. Like, I'm in the left turn lane, knowing they were going to give me something to the fucking right. I just know that shit. Because that, instead of them giving me something right in front of me to the left right here, they give me something to the fucking right. And I'm like, okay, how is this going to fucking work out? Now I got to go down here and U-turn through all this fucking traffic to come back right to some shit that's next to me. It's like, fuck, man. I can't stand this shit sometimes. And that's what these motherfuckers do on purpose. They be like, hey, man, he's in the fucking left turn lane. Give him something to the right. <laughs> motherfucking goofballs. All these motherfuckers sitting at the goddamn computers and shit at fucking work. Let's give him something to the right. <laughs> okay, motherfucker. Can't stand that fucking shit. Yeah, so what I did is I went ahead and sent them a message real quick. And just letting them know, because I was going the opposite direction of where they were. Just letting them know I was going to make a U-turn and coming back so they wouldn't cancel my ass. Be like, oh, he's going the other way. Yeah, thanks to these motherfuckers that lift, roll raggedy ass. They sending me the wrong direction. Yeah, they've been sending me a bunch of garbage, a bunch of trash. Yeah, $51. Oh, I think he gave me a tip. What, what, what? Oh, yeah, check that out. He gave me a tip. There we go. I love it. I love it. Like almost two miles, $11. There you go. And I was sitting right next to him. That's what I'm talking about. Let it do it. Let's do it. And he lives in my old apartments. These are my old apartments. When I first moved to Phoenix, this is where I used to live. He lives like what a building away from where I used to live. Pretty cool shit, huh? 
was that seven? Nah, I'm not doing that. Going all the way back to Tempe for nine dollars? Nah, we cool on that shit. We cool on that shit. Give me something shorter. Give me something like two or three miles. I'll take anything short. I got what do I got oh I don't want to go south I want to go north let me you turn this motherfucker around all right let's go north I'm in the three dollar bonus zone all right what do I got send me something you know what I'm saying two three miles nothing too long no 13 14 miles shit because I'm not on that because like I said I can make eleven dollars going less than two miles you got to know your areas your regions know where you're going hit the motherfucker like I said I come to like areas like this because there's a lot of apartments like I said those were my old apartments when I first moved here a lot of people don't like to lose their parking spot. Some of us have marked parking spots. Like I had a private spot and I used to park my motorcycle in the area too. So a lot of times when people live in apartments, they don't want to lose their spots. So they just Uber because it's too much hell losing their spot for something real short. And then they got to walk clear across the goddamn complex. What was that? $11 for nine miles? No, because I can get $11 for two miles. I don't need 11 for five. It's like, nope. And so they want to lose their parking spot. So what they do is they Uber every fucking where. And they just like, yep, they'll walk Uber. They do not want to lose their spot because it's a good spot. And they can like see their car so their car ain't going to be broken into. All kind of shit like that. $12, 12 miles? Nope. And so that's why I like being in this area over here. You know, a lot of apartments, a lot of people are mobile, a lot of people working. Because it's, it's rent. If you can't pay rent, you can't live there. So a lot of people that, that live in apartments work. A lot of people that have houses you know what? Some of them, the house is owned by somebody else. They may or may not, you know, have nothing but taxes left on it. Who knows? Not all homeowners have a mortgage, but everybody who lives in an apartment has rent. 100% of the people who live in apartments have to pay rent, either through government funds or something like that. 11 for 7? No, we're not doing that. But once you live in a, a house, you don't always have to pay the mortgage for that house. You may own it. Somebody else may own it and, and endow it to you. Anything could happen. So, you know, just staying in the neighborhoods and stuff like that, a lot of people may not tip. They may not have jobs. They may not be that mobile. But you come to an apartment area, oh, everybody got to do something because you got to fucking work to live in some apartments. So go fucking go to apartment areas. You're going to get a whole bunch of short rides. People going to Target and back because a lot of people that got apartments that don't have cars too. So either they don't have cars or they don't want to lose their spot. They want to keep their car next to their apartment so their car can't get broken into. They want to hear it while they're sleeping at night. They know if they leave the apartment, they're going to lose that fucking spot. So they just Uber. Like they'll, they'll rather pay, you know, $10, $15 for an Uber versus paying three, four hundred replacing the fucking radio in their car they got stolen. It's like, fuck it, I'll just pay the $15. I'm not replacing the whole radio. So what you do is just cruise by apartment complexes. Motherfuckers bound to fucking need you. They bound to need you. So now I'm going uh, to the east. I'm about to curve south a little bit. Once this little ragged ass car passed me, there we go. So I'm gonna curve south because right now all my school, there's more apartments over here. So I can cruise over here and see if anybody needs a ride. You know, somebody probably like a mile away from me, half mile away, take them maybe three miles over to Walmart. I could do some shit like that. That's a pretty cheap ride. But Lyft's not sending me nothing, so now I gotta turn on Uber. Whenever Lyft stops sending me shit, just turn Uber on. You guaranteed to start getting rides. Let's go. And it ain't no surge over here on the Uber side, none. So I won't be doing no Uber rides. I only turn Uber on so I can get Lyft to start sending me shit. That's all. Because these apps are scared as a motherfucker to lose a driver. We don't want to lose that driver, man. We need that driver in this area. Send him a ride. So I'm like, okay. Let me turn both of you motherfuckers on. Somebody's going to be ready to work. I'm gonna go up here and park right up here. Getting past all these ragged ass minivans and shit. Motherfucker, all these minivans be dented up. They need to call them Denny vans because they all dented. Fuck a minivan, you got a Denny van. Yo shit's dented the fuck up. <laughs> it's like these motherfuckers can't drive. The van is too big. They probably can't see shit. They be just hitting shit like fucking Wreck'em Ralph. The motherfuckers just driving around hitting shit. <laughs> fucking Denny van. You want a minivan or a Denny van? What you drive, motherfucker? Quick hop from uh, Mesa back to Tempe because there was nothing jumping in Mesa. So I did this little quick trip right here. It was what, five miles, about $8. Hopefully she tips me like four or five bucks. We bring it up to like $2 a mile. If I can get to 10, $10, $11, it'll make it $2 a mile. But I had to use that 
to get back over on this side. Hey, I got two tips in here. What? Five dollars and oh, that was earlier. That's why I had to come back over here. Like I said, there was nothing going on. So I'm like, I need to get my ass back to Tempe. Now, all the students are on school break right now. They're on winter break. So there's not a lot of activity going. I mean, it's it's not even 8 o'clock yet. So a lot of people are just now getting dinner, getting done with dinner, planning their night, figuring shit out. So it's, it's kind of like a bunch of nature hikes and shit. People trying to, the apps are trying to send us way the hell out everywhere. And I'm just not going for it. I'm like, no, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Now, if the apps wanted to get these nature hikes done, they would bring up that damn surge a little bit. King James sent me a message and said, hey, man, it's surging over by your house. It was $20 surge over by my house. $20. Those raggedy bastards would not give me surge for nothing when I was over there. And now they want to $20 surge me? You idiots. <laughs> you shitty kids. Is that an idiot? They're shitty kids. You shitty kid. All right. So I'm going to turn over here. Well, I'm in the 450 zone right now. So I'm going to park behind the CVS pharmacy and go sit over here and chill, listen to me some music for a while and scouts me some rides. Because there's no reason for me to be driving around anyways. Let me cruise over here. Oh, $3. Oh, let's see something. $3, $3, $3. Is, is it still there? Let's take it because that's going to be like $7. Damn it. They didn't want to give it to me because that would have been like $7 for like a mile. <laughs> they didn't want to give it to me. They was like, nope, don't give it to Jeff. Fuck that. Take it from him. Take it from him. It's like, man, you're a jerk. All right, let's see. All right, let's park right here real quick. Kick back. Yee, relax for a second. Uh, where are we at? In the middle of nowhere. All right, so we got Surge jumping downtown man it's a lot of surge on this map a lot of good surge look at that so no matter where i go i'm gonna probably end up in a pocket of surge as long as i stay within a radius and i know everybody's like set your area filter i don't need to set my area filter i know my city good enough they're gonna send you right outside of your filter like i give a shit then i just hit decline i don't give a shit it, it don't make me no difference people crack me up with that shit use a filter in my opinion Using a filter tells the app that you want to stay in a certain area. And if the app don't like you, guess what? They're going to throttle the shit out of you to make sure you don't get no rides in the area you want to be in. They're going to force you outside of that area. They're going to be like, oh, since we know he want to be in this area, let's create a, a desperate driver. Throttle him. Give him one ride an hour. Make him desperate. And then he'll take his, uh, we know he want to be in that area. He'll take his filter off and we'll send his ass on a nature hike somewhere else. And he'll have to take it because he ain't making no money. I don't want them to know that I want to be around here. No, I don't want them to know that. I want them to think that I want some long ass rides. So when they keep trying to send me a nature hike, I say, no, they finally see me a good ride. I stay in my area. You tell the algorithm what you want to do. The algorithm going to make sure they give you what you don't fucking want because they're going to force your hand. I don't use the filter because I don't want them to think I want to be here. If anything, I would use the filter way the fuck out somewhere to make them think I wanted to be out there. And they give me a bunch of rides in this area which is what I really want. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta play chess with these motherfuckers. Don't tell them where you wanna go, see shit like that. You gonna give me all these 17 mile rides for $17? I don't want that shit. It's like, no. Cause what I want them to give me is something in this area. If I set an area filter for this area, they gonna keep saying, no, nah, we gonna end up giving you, we gonna throttle you and not give you shit in this area, send you nothing but nature hikes. They're sending me nature hikes, cause they, see I need four more rides to get that 20 bucks. So I'm going to do four more short ass rides, get them out the way real quick, get the 20 bucks. Then if I need to go somewhere else, then I nature hike from here to downtown because I got four bucks. If they give me $15, I'll go downtown. But that now nah, $23 for like almost 30 miles. Now nah, you don't want that. So that's the kind of shit you don't even want to deal with. But you know what's out there. But if they give me 15 bucks, I'll go downtown Phoenix. Even if they gave me 13, I'll go downtown Phoenix because what that'll do is it'll sit me in more surge down there. So I can surge bounce between these two. $13, sit down there, pluck a bunch of short rides. And then when that dries up a little bit, come back over here when it's a little later, when the clubs open, do a bunch of short rides over here. If it's still surge over here, just keep going back and forth, surge in the areas. Because I was out over in Mesa over here. And now I just went down the street. I picked her up, Ava, and I brought Ava down here. And so... Hopefully they'll they'll give me a few short rides in this area so I can get that twenty dollar challenge out the fucking way, and then you know pluck some short rides. Let's see what's going on on Uber right now. 
Because I don't know what the hell's going on on Uber. Hold up. Here we go. Let's see what's going on on Ubi. Nothing. I'm, I've been online the whole time. Shit, I didn't even know that. We got some more. We got 350 to the airport. Damn, I've been running Paw Patrol the whole time. Didn't even know it. Let's go on UberX. See what kind of shit they're going to send me. They're going to send me like $8 for like fucking 13 miles and shit. Watch. Here's $8. 13 miles all the way to downtown Phoenix. Here's fucking $17 to go 27 miles. Nope. Let me see. They ain't got no surge nowhere. Yeah. Kind of blank. Damn, they got Fountain Hills a surging. $12. Ain't nobody trying to go to Fountain Hills, though. And they got $10 way up here. What is that? Carefree? Troon? Oh, that's Troon. I know where Troon is. I, that's where I pick people up at the airport and I take them to Troon. They be giving me like $30 cash tips and shit like that because that's a long-ass drive. Troon is way up there. Like, here I am. Five twenty for that. Ooh, that's that looks like a real good drive. Five twenty for about two and a half miles. It's about two dollars a mile. If they send it to me, I might take it. They gotta send it to me though. I I just don't want that. I don't know. For some reason that that's thinking about three or four people. I'm looking at that. I'm like, man, I know what area that is, and it's only like a mile ride. Those motherfuckers probably about three or four people deep trying to get to a party. And you get there and be like, five bucks for four people. This is ridiculous. No tip. And they fucking clapping and shit to each other. Man. Who's that? Worse. Now that's further for less mile for less money. 348 for like almost four miles. Now they're giving me 520 for about three. Now, now that's even worse. 13 for eleven. Nope. 13 for eleven miles. Where the, oh, 858 for some blazing wings. 8.58 for about 30 minutes of work. Yeah, so you're going to fuck around and get like $17 an hour with that shit. Uh, yeah, keep taking those away. 3.48. Nope, not doing that. Three four, That was that little 3.48 they tried to send it to me. All right, the $13 to go downtown Phoenix. Was that downtown? Oh, that was going down the mill, pick somebody up and taking them down to Phoenix. Yeah. I do downtown Phoenix for thirteen dollars. If they sent me a ride for thirteen dollars to go to downtown Phoenix, I do it. As you can see, Lyft ain't sending me shit right now. Lyft is mad at me because I won't take none of their nature hikes. They like, dude, he's about to get that twenty dollars. Let me see what is Lyft even looking like as far as this weekly breakdown shit. I've been driving for about six hours, three thirty-four. Lyft is up. $19. They're up $19. They're going to pay me that $20 bonus. And they're going to be under. They're going to be negative again. <laughs> they're fucking pissed. They're pissed because they can't get over the hump. They're like, what can we do to get over the hump with this motherfucker? We should be making about $120 off this motherfucker. We ain't making shit. So, yep, you ain't making shit. They done took $55 from me for that shit. What we got? $13 for that? Nope. 230 for some bendas. Yeah, bendas over for $2. <laughs> That's about it, motherfucker. Trying to fuck us. That's what you're trying to do. Bendas over for $2. Motherfucking ass. Ain't nobody getting that shit. $3 for some Chick-fil-A. Fuck that. Nope, nope. Chicken buckets. <laughs> $3 for some chicken buckets. And that's 24 minutes. That's about half an hour for $3. So you're going to make like $6 an hour doing shit like that. And motherfuckers is really like expecting people to work for six dollars an hour in 2023 this is 2023 the month of december before the holidays year in rent all kind of crazy and they're like dude you want to work for six dollars an hour for the holidays sure why not <laughs> like mother gonna work for six dollars an hour over the fucking holidays you got bills coming up bills you just didn't get plus you got christmas coming up probably a birthday coming up and you're going to be making $6 an hour during the month of December and the year 2023 like it's fucking 1981. This is not 1981, motherfucker. This is 2023. $6 an hour does not go that far in 2023. That shit should not even be on the app. $3 for 24 minutes, automatically, they should go by time. If it's going to say 24 minutes, it should be at least minimum $13 fucking dollars, $26 an hour. 
If it's 24 fucking minutes, you should be getting at least $13 every half hour. If you're not getting $13 every half hour of doing deliveries, I don't know. Because I think 26 bucks an hour for deliveries is fair. It's fair. Because you're sitting at these restaurants waiting on this shit, dealing with non-tippers, dealing with $13. $3 for fucking 30 minutes or what? Nah, fuck that. That's 1981. That's 1981. Ain't nobody trying to live like that. See, like that, 40 minutes for $12. It's close because I said 13 for about 30. So 12 for about 40 is close. Need to add about another probably three, four dollars of that. Make it 15, 17 dollars. It'll be cool. 17 dollars for that will be. But it's 22 fucking miles too. Jeez. What the fuck? Yeah, not for no 22 miles. Nope. Couldn't do it. But yeah, that, man, they got to get these fares up to 2023 standards. Because like I said, these motherfuckers, especially Dara and all these motherfuckers, David Risher, they paying motherfuckers like it's 1981. I'm like, motherfucker, how about y'all live like it's 81 and see how that shit feel? Make, make it $6 a fucking hour. Give up your whole bank account, all your millions. Give it all up and say for a year, I'm going to live like a normal motherfucker for a year. I bet we see one of these motherfuckers living up under the bridge. And even if you turn homeless, if you get evicted and become homeless, you cannot say I quit I'm going to quit this little, you know, little challenge and I'm going to go back to my millions. No, you got to ride that shit out for 365 days. If you homeless, ride that shit out till your 365 is up. You got to fight motherfuckers under the bridge. You got to run from stray dogs and shit. You got to get cat scratches and shit. Go to the clinic because cats scratch you the fuck up. Like, man, look at that. Three dollars. Fuck that. I mean, you got to you got to ride that shit out. 365. Be like, I'm going to live. Off, off fucking minimum wage. I'm going to do driving and delivery. Boy, you can't nobody help me. Nobody let me tap into my millions. No connections can help me out and slide me a motherfucking box of chicken nuggets in the middle of the night. No, can't nobody help you. You got to do this shit on your own for 365. Pay rent in a fucking regular place. Drive a fucking car. Get car insurance. Buy clothes. Six dollars, six miles. Nope. And make them do that shit. For a year, make all these executives live like a normal motherfucker for a year. And I bet they'll be like, man, I'm not making enough. Huh? You fucking think? You fucking think? Man, I don't know how I'm going to survive off this shit. I'm getting like $11 an hour. What the? Exactly. They live like us for a fucking year. And I guarantee your ass will be having a bunch of questions like, how the fuck am I supposed to eat? Shit. How am I supposed to buy a new pair of fucking tennis shoes? How am I supposed to pay child support? What the fuck? It's like, yeah. 13 for 12. No, fuck that. Yeah, we're not doing that. $13 for about a half an hour of driving the whole time on gas. No, that shit works for delivery. Because in delivery, you ain't really going nowhere. You're going like two or three miles, maybe. It works in delivery. See, shit like this don't work. You know what? Uber's not doing nothing anyways. Let's turn these motherfuckers off. I had them on Paw Patrol. Nope, still not updating. <laughs> They've been trying to get me to update for like fucking three weeks now. I'm like, nah, I'm not touching that fucking update. Motherfucker, I don't know what's in that motherfucker. Open that bitch up and it's like, yeah, we're going to automatically start going through your phone and extracting fucking data to see who you're texting. <laughs> it's like, see all the, they're going to probably have all the phone numbers and shit to who we're texting and getting private rides from. Link that data and information to their database and be like, wait a minute, Jimmy, are you doing private rides through Jeff now? Because you're not using the app anymore. No bullshit because we know you and jeff are texting back and forth we got the latest update we put on both apps and we're connecting y'all phones together you motherfuckers are doing private rides i see you motherfucker he's deactivated and you're deactivated both i don't know what they fucking updates be because they showed the updates don't add no money so i'm not worried about them fucking updates they're not adding no money so i ain't stressing that shit but Oh, what time is it? Eight o'clock? Ain't no rides out yet. Yeah, they trying to send me some bullshit. They trying to get me out of the Tempe. That's what they trying to do. They're like, man, this motherfucker ain't taking no rides. Nope. None. That's right around the mill. 575 is over there. So I got, you know, one of the highest surges in the area. So I'm sitting at 450. They're using all the cheap drivers right now while they can. But I guess I'm gonna kick back and listen to some fucking music for a minute. This out. I just dropped this lady off, right? So she needed a ride. She was just at uh Home Depot or she was at Lowe's. 
And she was like, yeah, this and that. So I get there, she's got seven things of wood. Seven things of wood, like little bells of wood or whatever. So I'm like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. She's like, well, I hope, I'm sorry, I'm gonna tear your trunk up with all this. I'm like, I got a mat back there, I could pull it out and everything. The ride was $3, it was a $3 ride, but it had automatically added to my queue. So I was like, I'll take it, because I saw it popping up, so I just hit it, it's like, you know, a half mile to get to her, then like maybe a mile to get to her house, easy. She said, can you stop at Circle K for me? three dollar ride three dollar ride i gotta stop at circle k got all this wood in my trunk like little bells so it's wood chips every fucking where but the mat you just take it out and shake it check this out that's her tip right there bam she tipped me eleven dollars no i don't want that shit she tipped me eleven dollars and 54 cents on a three dollar ride holy shit eleven fifty four on a three dollar ride it was only like a mile not even a mile and a half and i was i shot around the corner picked her up nope not doing none of these and it was that quick that easy i'm like man this, i'm telling you man some people are amazing amazing people like i said i gotta rate her she's she's amazing that's miss cricket right there amazing she was pretty cool and she's got a pit bull mixed with a mastiff. I was like, I got the same kind of dog. He's lazy as hell. That's my big dash. Sometimes you take these little short trips. Like I said, it was a $3 trip. No surge, no nothing. I was like, well, I'm right around the corner from it. I'm like, I could swing around the corner and pick her up. Had no idea she was at a Lowe's and had wood. And I'm like, oh, shit, I got to put wood in the back. So I was like, you know what? I'm not stressing. I got a mat back there. I could shake the mat out. I'm not worried about it. So I put the, the wood in the back, cruising and everything. Soon as we get, start coming out the lot, can you stop by Circle K right here? I was like, $3 ride now, $3 ride. I already done fucked my trunk up and I'm thinking, now I gotta stop at Circle K. But we having a good conversation. We just chatting and talking or whatever. So I pull in, we show her the dog, she goes in Circle K, get her, tip me 11.54, that damn quick. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. That's what I'm talking about right there. Sometimes you take a ride, you just feel it. Feel, I felt a $3 ride, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this little ride because it's right around the corner. And then when I saw her standing there with the wood, I was like, ain't nobody picking her up. Ain't nobody picking her ass up because it's a lot of fucking wood. And most of you are like, man, I'm not picking up nobody with fucking wood. Not in my car, but I'm thinking... I've got a big ass BMW mat in my trunk. That's why I put that mat back there so people wouldn't fuck up my, you know, my carpets. Came and paid off. 11.54, that damn quick. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. Shit. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. That little trip, a mile, my 1.2 miles, 14 damn dollars. Look at that, 1.2 miles, 14 dollars. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Shit works out like that, man. Drop, and of course, like clockwork, they got me in between two surges. They never put me in the surge. They always got me in between surges. They're trying to get me to go further south is what they're trying to do, which is why they got the numbers bigger down here than they got up here. But I'm not going south because south is Nature Hike Valley down there. They're they going to give you a ride and have your ass going 30 miles in one direction for like $32. It's like, nope, cool on that shit. But, so that's what I've been doing. So far I've been online for about three hours, made 1.30. I hit that ride challenge where I had to get those 10 rides. And this, I've been all ride bonuses. Everything I'm touching has got a ride bonus. Or I get some tips on there. Hey, 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 what is that? What is that? 4.3 for 11, all right, almost $3 a mile. Not bad, not bad. I said, everything's ride bonusing out. I love it, I love it. These little short rides like this, you know, four miles, seven bucks, not bad. Uh, let me see what my weekly breakdown is so far. Been online seven hours, 400 bucks in seven hours. Yeesh, it's kind of scary. What Lyft's made $19 on me so far. Good deal, Lyft. Glad you can, glad you can join the party, you broke motherfuckers. Glad you can join the party. So I've driven 146 miles on this app to make $405. It's not a bad thing, not a bad thing. Like I said. I'm going to end up trying to, you know, probably trying to hit about 10 hours. And in 10 hours, if I can get at least $600, that will be, so I got to get another 200 bucks, another 200 bucks, three hours more. I could do that. I could do it. 
but so far you know seven seven hours driving 400 buck dollars is driving smarter not harder like i said i'm not trying to drive no you know 30 40 hours to make no you know 400 bucks you making like ten dollars an hour driving around out here it's like now nah, we ain't doing that shit we trying to we going up 50 bucks an hour 60 bucks an hour is what we aiming for so in order to get that, you got to cherry pick. You got to be smart about this shit. Don't take no bullshit rides. Know exactly what you're doing. Know your regions. Know your areas. We got to cash out 201. I'll cash that out in a minute. I got to go out here and pick up some more rides. Let's see where these surge is hidden. Woo, that south surge looks pretty good, but I'm not fucking with that. So I'm going to go straight. And where that 650 is, I'm going to turn this app on after I get across the highway. I don't want to turn it on now because ain't no surge over here. So once I get across the highway, I'll turn the surge on, see if I can pick up a couple of rides. I'm not going south no matter what. Do not go south. Because down here, look at this shit. It ain't nothing south of me. Look at that. There's nothing. Sun Lakes, Casa Grande, my, you'll be way the hell out in the middle of nowhere. Because Phoenix is north of me. And so I'm on the, that's the airport way up there. So I'm just beneath my house. I'm probably about right by Guadalupe. I say I'm probably about, I don't know five miles south of my house so once you get down here it ain't shit down here they got some good surge but that's because they want to trick me to come down here and i'm not gonna fall for that shit i'm gonna get over here turn it on see if i can pick up a couple of more short bangers probably down to gilbert chandler or something like that call it a night see if i can make you know two three hundred dollars a night and call it good like i said i already started with 40 bucks so that's 90 dollars i made so far that's 90 dollars i started my night with 40 already so i'm at 90 bucks and it's only 1022. Remember, I like to make at least 100 by midnight. I'm already at 90 bucks and it's 1022. So I'm ahead of schedule right now. I'm hanging out in Guadalupe right now. That's where I am. Sitting in Guadalupe, kicking back, relaxing on a $5 surge. Let's see what they send me. Like I said, I'm, I'm not too far from my house. I cut through here all the time. Actually, the Jeep is named after Guadalupe. That's where she got her name from. Lupita, $10 to go south and then north. No, we're not doing that. Let's not do that. Because that's about six miles for 10 bucks. I don't want to do that. Not with a $5 bonus I'm sitting on. I could do better than that. $5 bonus can get me at least minimum $2 a mile, $3 a mile. So I don't have to settle for like a dollar something a mile sitting on a $5 bonus. I mean, that's what they want you to do. You don't have to do it. There's enough people around here. $11 for seven miles. Nope, we're not doing that either. Said so we kick all those out because they got shorter trips around here. They got a trip that's probably a mile away for like two miles, and they'll probably pay me like you know eight or nine dollars for that. So you can go, you know, almost nine. You can get nine dollars for three miles and get you a three dollar a mile trip if you kind of just sit and hang for a second. So we'll see if they got me some, going something like maybe three miles away. Give me something like nine bucks to go south. Like I said, there's surge down south, but I mean I'm already at five. And you don't see nothing kind of too much greater than that anywhere. So I'm kind of at the, the height of what I can get. You see a $6, a $6.25, but for an extra $1.25, I'm not driving no fucking 10 miles to get an extra $1.25. You're better just sitting where you at. You got $5, be happy with $5. A lot of times you got to make sense of that. Ooh, ooh, they, oh shit, I can go down there and get an $8 surge instead of a $5 surge. It's only $3 more. So if you drive 10 miles to make three extra dollars, I mean, you're wasting your fucking time. That's 30 cents a mile. You're wasting your time. So be happy with the surge you got. Analyze it. Make sure you don't want to go chase a big number if the big number ain't worth it. Now, if it was a $40 surge where that $6 is, oh, trust me, I wouldn't be sitting here. I'd go where that $40 surge is because that's only, like I said, could be eight miles away. I'm sitting at $5, 35 extra dollars for eight miles. That's almost $4 a mile. If I just go and grab that surge, so I would go for it. But a six fifty, I'm sitting at five already. A dollar fifty, that's probably about six miles down the road. Now nah, I'm cool on that. You gotta just make sense of these surges sometimes and know whether or not you should even attempt it, chase it. If you're sitting on something, be happy. But I also run a risk. Well, all that purple is in the middle, I run at risk. Ten dollars for like five miles. Um, no, nah, we're not gonna do that. I don't feel like going down there right now. I just left down there not too long ago, so I don't want to go back down there. $16 for like 20 miles? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Where am I? Oh, I don't have no surge now, so they took my surge away because I didn't Harriet Tubman the motherfucker, so they took it away, and here I am sitting here with no surge now. Ragamuffins, 
These ragamuffins, I was sitting on five bucks. Now I got zero. Well, that just means it's going to be harder for them to get a ride. That's all. Let's open up Uber. Let's see what Uber's got. Yeah, because they could have just left my surge on there. Nah, it's nothing. This is garbage over here. Hold up. I've been riding around on with Paw Patrol on the whole time. Holy shit, I got a $3 surge trapped. <laughs> I've been riding around with Paw Patrol on for how long now? Shit, who knows? All I haven't gotten a ride all night. I guess I had this shit running all night long. I ain't got a ride on it. No pet, no nothing. So it's like, shit. So I turn it on X real quick. Let's see what they're going to give me on X. Let's see. Um, 11, 11. Damn, all these are horrible. Two $11 ones. One's 11 miles and one's about nine miles. 15 minutes for that? No, let's not. Look at that. $20 for like 21 miles. No, we're cool on that shit. Let's go out because we don't have no surge. So I'm going to go offline with Lyft right now. I don't have a surge anyways. Let's see what they got. 1130. They go about 11 miles down south. Yeah, that wasn't a trip I was looking forward to. So we're going to see if I can do something with this $3 over here. Like I said, I just lost $5 because I didn't hear you tub me that shit like I should have. So now I got, I got the $3. We're going to hear you tub me this fucking $3. Uh, $8 share. Was that $2 a mile? Let's accept that. It's $2 a mile. I got to go down to Dick's Sporting Goods, pick up Michaela, and bring her right back to where I am right now. It's $2 a mile. Ubrex shared. Ah, it's, it's easy. It's easy. I'm not going to ding her for it being an Ubrex share. It's $2 a mile. Let's go. Michaela, you dusty motherfucker. Let's go. I'm going to eat real quick. But So Lyft, check this shit out. Lyft's got me right at the edge of a damn surge right there. Let's check this shit out. Come on, thing. Quit screwing around. This goddamn phone. See how Liv's got me right on the edge of the surge? Right on, no surge on my phone, but I'm right on the edge. So I go over to Uber. Uber doing the exact same shit to me. Look, they got me right on the fucking edge. I mean, the surge is across the goddamn street from me. That's how these apps be doing my ass. They'll put the surge real fucking close, but they won't ever put me in it. It's like that every single time. That's why I be laughing at these motherfuckers, because they know where I be at. Every time they know where I'm at. All right, so let's get started. Let's open up these garbage apps. They know where I'm at. They got surge across the street from me, so I can't get to it. Oh, ragamuffin motherfuckers. Oh, now I'm in the surge now. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that shit. Let's go online real quick. Now they put me in the surge, and I got $275, $5 right down the street. Let's see what kind of trash they're going to throw at me. Give me... Nine dollars for five miles going over to Tempe. Um, no, I'm not going down the baseline. Sorry, I'm not going that far south. Nope, nope. It's like it will be fine, but they got me going down the baseline and I'm not trying to go there. Nope, not doing that one either. Seven dollars, seven miles. They, they're trying their best to get my ass to go. You know, let me sit right here real quick. Let me open up Uber too. I'm going to see who's going to give me the best ride. Because everybody's trying to go out at, in on Mill Avenue right now. That's what they keep trying to send me to Tempe. So let's see if Uber's got me in some surge. Nope, Uber ain't got me in surge yet. So they got $16 down there. Yeah, Uber ain't got me in no real surge. They got me sitting right here, but like I said, it ain't, it ain't worth shit. Let me see what they're talking about. $9. No, nah, I'm not doing that either. Nope. Let's see what Uber's talking about. $16, 16 miles. Doubt it. That was like 21 miles, actually. Shit, 21 miles of driving for 16 bucks. No, we're not doing that. Let's see what else we got going. Who's going to send me something good? $33 to go to Glendale. Uh, no, nah, I'm not doing that. $33 for 23 miles? No. And that's going down south to Arizona Mills to pick somebody up. $11 for 20 miles? No, that's crazy. You know what? Uber's being nuts. Turn them motherfuckers off. Because they, they really... I ain't got no... I got $16 on them. I did two real quick trips. Hold up. No later. Stay offline. I did two real quick trips. I did this right here. 
It was eight dollars. I was sitting right next to the lady for what three miles. Then this was an Uber X share. That was that share I had and took her like a mile home or whatever. Those are the only two trips that I've done so far. No tips. Let's see what they're talking about over here. Ten dollars. Mm, nope, not doing it. It's going way out to the west. I'm gonna see if there's some surge out there before I go somewhere. Let's see what they got. Are they gonna show me where surge is? Nope, because there's no surge out there. Nope, 350, that little ass area? No. I'm trying to go this way. This is the way I'm trying to go, and they're trying to send me the opposite direction away from the surge. So, yeah. Let's get ready to head out to where we gotta go to. Like I said, I'm not going to the west because they was going to send me to that big ass empty pocket over there thinking that I was going to take that shit. Like, okay, I'll take it. Yeah, end up in the middle of fucking nowhere and all the surges over there. Look at that, $19 for about 27 miles. Nah, we're cool on that shit. Nope, nope. And they, that's Wild Horse Pass. They're trying to get somebody from that casino. Now, these apps are trying to make too much profit. That's their fucking problem right now. They're trying to make too much profit. They're being greedy. These people would actually get rides home if the apps decided not to be fucking greedy. Give us the tips. Give us the fucking the actual fare. Because, I mean, even with Surge, these fares aren't even worth going to go pick these people up because they want to make profit so bad. They done told all these investors, oh, we're going to get your money back. We're going to get your money back. Well, you might want to talk to the drivers first. Before you make those motherfuckers a promise, you might want to talk to the drivers to be like, hey, y'all, is it cool if we use some of y'all money to give to the stockholders? We know you guys are out here doing all the fucking work and everything, but we want to make sure that we pay these people back for the money that we got from them. You know, they invested in us. We want to make, it's cool we understand the game. Trust me, we understand the game. But maybe the executives are being paid too fucking much. Maybe that's the problem. The execs are being paid too much. The politicians y'all got in y'all fucking pocket are being paid too much. That's the problem. It's not the drivers being paid too much. I mean, we are barely fucking making it as it is. We got to keep these cars fucking running. But you trying to fatten the pocket of politicians every time you turn around. And then you trying to take care of all these stockholders because they put money into y'all. Cool, we get it. We get it. The execs are the fucking problem. The executives and the goddamn politicians are the problem. Y'all trying to pay off too many people with money that drivers are fucking earning. The pot can only be so big. So once we all fucking putting hard work and hard work and this money in the pot, y'all trying to take all the money out of the fucking pot and leave nothing for the drivers, these motherfuckers ain't gonna be getting picked up. People won't will not get picked up. So you gotta check in with the drivers. All you motherfucking executives, y'all gotta check in with the drivers. We the ones doing the work. We generate the revenue when we click accept. Y'all don't generate revenue with the fucking apps. Y'all stealing. That's how y'all generate revenue through a crime. Fraud and theft is a crime, last I heard. So y'all not generating revenue in a legit way. Y'all generating revenue in a criminal way. That's like me going to go rob a fucking bank and saying I have a great job. No, I just robbed a fucking bank. That's not a job. That's a crime. So people got to realize what these apps are doing. These apps are committing crimes in order to get ahead. Let me get in the car. Get in this fucking car. I'll tell you that much now. fucking slow ass cars like get out the fucking way jesus christ man eight dollars for four miles let's do that i can do that yeah but man it's like that's and that's what we gotta do we gotta let these people know man hey you you can't go out here committing crimes and shit like that then turn around and, and act like you're doing legit business that's not legit business keep it 100 let these motherfuckers know what y'all really doing like I said, everybody's exposed. Like I said, we've been talking for over a year about how the fares have been shit and how we think the, the apps are stealing our tips. The apps are stealing all of our fares and shit like that, not paying us what they should be paying us. We've been saying this shit for a year. The media is finally catching on. Like I said, the media is slow. A lot of short bus motherfuckers. The media, we've been saying this shit for the longest. They're stealing our tips, stealing the fares. They're doing some shady shit. And now people are starting to listen to us and, and say, okay, maybe you guys aren't crazy. We kept calling you guys sh haters and crazy and you guys are stupid and you're conspiracy theorists and blah, blah, blah. Now everybody's like, uh, maybe these motherfuckers is right. Maybe that's the only way that these apps are making real money and making revenue is by theft. They're stealing, lying, embezzling funds, moving shit around. That's the only way they're making it. We tried to tell y'all. We need legislation. We need help if we're going to get this shit done. But if we not, then say we're not going to get help. Say we don't get legislation and let us fucking start fending for ourselves as drivers because we'll get this shit done.
right, so I'm sitting right in this unlock $4 territory, but it's $11.54 and I got a $3 bonus. So my next ride is going to add $7 because I'm going to get the four and the three. They're not going to send me a ride for the next six minutes. That's the thing because they see me sitting here. I mean, I can go inside of Uber. If they do send me a ride, it's going to be probably like 20 something miles. It's going to be a far ride. So right now I got Uber running. I got it on Paw Patrol just in case, you know, I end up trapping some surge or something like that. Like early, I just drive around with Paw Patrol on. You trap a surge, you trap a surge. Stuff like that. 931 for 10 miles. No, we're not doing that. All of these trips here, 938, 8 for 5, 362. Uh, no, nah, we're not going up towards Scottsdale right now. So let me hurry up and turn this back to Paw Patrol. Let me see. Reservations. What do we got? Uh, let me go on Paw Patrol real quick. Eight. No, forget that shit. What is that? That's at 12.30 in the morning. Catching somebody up in Camelback. Coming all the way back. No. Well, let's go like this real quick. Let's put it on Paw Patrol. Just because I don't want them sending me nothing right now. Not while I'm sitting back, kicking back, relaxing. Oh, I didn't mean to hit it. I'm moving this damn thing. 306 there. Yeah, because what was that reservation? Let's see. Let's go back to that reservation real quick. Okay. Get out the way, damn thing. Oh, here we go with this old ragged ass app. All right, there we go. Get out the way. Let's see what this reservation was saying. They're trying to go eight miles at 1230. You got to be up in Scottsdale to get it. No, nah, we're not doing that one. Nope. All right, let's see what they got. There we go again, 24 miles. Man, forget that shit. Nope. Yeah, that's way too. 24 miles for $19 plus four makes it 23. $23 for 24 miles? I'm telling you now, I'm not doing that. Not doing that. Like I said, I got four minutes to get another ride. So hopefully they can send me something in four minutes. It's got to be short though, because I'm already getting $7. So the ride has to be at least, I mean, no, like three miles. Three miles it could be, because I'll get the $7 plus the three for the ride will make it 10 so $10, three miles will make it $3 a mile pretty much. So I could do that. Three, four miles is fine. But they probably won't send me anything because it's, I got three minutes left now. 11.57, yeah. These bonus zones be cracking me up. It's a bonus hour. They don't send you shit. They make you sit around and like wait for rides that you never get. Or they'll just send you nature hikes because you'll be like in a rush to get that $4. I need to get that $4. And it'd be like a 24 mile ride. For like $19. Like, no. Because I'm not about to drive on Lyft. I'm not driving 12 miles away. Because you get halfway there and they pair them with a different driver. And all of a sudden, you don't get anything for just driving six miles. You'd be like, damn. It was 12 miles away. I made it till six miles. And they switch rides on me and I got no money for that. So you drove six miles for no reason at all. Lyft will do that shit to you. So that's why I don't... Nah. I don't do if if a lift ride is close, I'll go for it. If it's far, it's a no. Because they switch rides way too much on lift for me. Nope. The trash they trying to send me. $41 to go all the way up to Peoria. It's like, man, they out they damn mind. $41 to go up to Peoria. That's 33 miles away. It's like, hell no. Let's see what Liv's talking about. $8 for that. Let's take that. I could take that. $8 for that. I could do that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How do they got me going through this place? Oh, shit. We got some crazy shit going right now. $11 for this. Let's take that one instead. All right, how are we gonna get to that one? All right, yeah, let's take that one because that other one I can't get to her because I just left the gated community and she's in a gated community right now. So I can't do that one. So I have to cancel that one right there. I don't want that ride because it's in a gated community. I'm gonna go offline and just not deal with them right now. 
Yeah, that was that was through a gated community, and I had already just left the gated community, and they gave me a ride inside of the gated community. So, nah, fuck that. We're gonna go over here and pick up James real quick, make it a little bit easier on myself. Hate to cancel people, but I like to keep my night easy. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that shit. Lyft is slow. Once once I was inside of that gate, Lyft should have sent me a ride. I was dropping somebody off for of Uber actually. So I dropped somebody off of Uber. They gave me the gate code. I went in, dropped them off. U-turn, got out of there, and Lyft sent me a fucking ride while I was outside of the gate now. Fuck it. Too late. Too late. Cans on back on Uber again. Lyft is too fucking slow. That fucking wish list ass app. I know the lady's like, oh man, he could have came and got me. No, no. You you chose a ride through Lyft. You gotta real you gotta realize it. When you charging shit, when you getting rides through Lyft, Lyft is not on they shit. They're just not on top of shit. So you run the risk of just not getting picked up on Lyft all the fucking time. I mean, I've been having some decent luck with Lyft this week, but shit like that, yeah, they, they already fucked it up. When I left the gated community, I was out of the gated community and I wasn't going back in. I had to turn around, hey, watch the gate code, fuck all that. Nope, nope. I was like, damn, this car is sitting way the fuck out in the middle of the street. Scoot back, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, so I decided to just take the Uber one, fuck it. This one was about $3 a mile, the other one, was probably close to about two maybe i don't know it wasn't that much but it was eight bucks this is 11 you know and that one this one's still like you know what i'm gonna go probably fucking three four miles maybe and be done we'll find out I'm sitting back down here in tempe after i did my last drop on uber and there's a seven dollar bonus hour now so i got a 550 bonus with the seven dollar bonus hour so 1250 on my next ride I'm about to head over real quick to open up this bonus and I'm not going to leave that area. I'm going to try to sit right where I'm going to try to sit right there. I think that's on rule. So if I can sit by rule and just get all the surge plus get that $7 per ride for the next hour, I can knock out about three of them. I, they just got to stay within this $7. That's all I got to do is stay within that $7 and I'm cool. So I'm headed that way now. Let's see if I can get this money. I'm going to do it the smart way. Like I said, this is it. This is it. It's a Saturday night, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. And it's 3.30 in the morning, and I'm just, I just did a couple of Uber runs. I was far south, and I just dropped off this guy right here for 26.37, Bob Dolvin. Before that was the 1880. Before that was the 2986. These all were the kind of nature hikes. 19 miles. That got me out of Tempe because I didn't want to be in Tempe no more. Shot me straight south. I did an $18 ride. That was for six miles. Probably about eight miles. I was like two miles away to pick them up. So eight miles for like $18. And then Bob, he was right down. He was about two miles away. So that was 20 miles for 26 bucks. But he was so far south. And this was my ride back to the airport where I live. So I got a $26 ride home. But that guy, Bob, rode his motorcycle 14 years around the world. 14 years he rode his motorcycle around the world. Wrote a book about it. And he was with his wife. He met her while he was doing it. And he met her in Australia. Cool lady, real cool. But he was his whole book is about his experience about riding his motorcycle all over the world through Argentina, all these places, everything like that. 14 years. And it's on Amazon. So I got to buy his book off of Amazon because I told him I won't buy his book. I mean, great guy. He lives like not too far south of me. And I'm like, man, it's, it's rare that I, this is probably the second author I've met doing this. Third author. First was a lady. I bought her book. Second was a uh, professor. He works here. He was doing a big conference. I bought his book. And now I'm going to buy Bob's book. So I've met three authors doing ride share. And I bought each of their books. Well, I haven't bought Bob's yet, but you know I'm going to do it anyways. Because I said I was going to do it, so I got to do it. But pretty cool, pretty cool. I love Ride Chair. You never know who you're going to meet. And like I said, 3.30 in the morning, I'm just finishing my night. This is what I did on Uber. $108 on Uber today. And I was scouting pretty much. Five hours, 41 minutes, only did seven trips. I was scouting. I had them running the whole time in the background on Uber Pet. Totally forgot they were even on. So... I did those trips. That was 108 over there. And on Lyft, I did. Lyft just kind of, I gave up on Lyft. I had a $5 surge and everything. It was already at $40. So $138. So I made about $90. Bucks. I made about $90 on Lyft. So about almost $200 night. The 108 plus the 90 makes about $98, almost $2, $200. 
So I'm going to head back over to Tempe and see if I can pick up some people on Lyft while they got the surge over there. But fucking piss me off, man. Lyft pissed me off because I was, I was doing okay. And I had a $5 surge locked on in a $7 zone and they never gave me a ride. That was my last ride was at 11.30. And that was my last ride was 11.30. It is now 3.30 in the morning. Lyft hasn't sent me a ride. And that many, I turned them off. I turned them off probably about, you know, right when I picked up Bob, I turned them off because I was done with Lyft. And it's like, you know, they're, they're playing games now, throttling people down for whatever reason, because they probably ain't making no money. Let me see how much money they made on me this week. They made $17. I don't know what the fuck they mad about. They made 17 bucks. They ain't lose no money. They made $17. And I was online for, what, seven and a half hours, four, 13, so roughly almost close to about 60 bucks an hour, pretty close to $60 an hour, 150 miles to make 413, not bad, 34 rides or something like that, what did I do, 36 rides, 36 rides plus 7 over on Uber puts me at 42 rides for the weekend, I've only been doing it for like a couple of days, so 42 rides, ain't bad at all, but Lyft pissed me off because I could have had way more rides on Lyft, but I wouldn't have met Bob, everything happens for a reason. I jumped on Uber, the girls got me out of Tempe, shot me straight down the highway. I did a couple of rides down south, really good rides because there was nobody down there. Then I met Bob, brought Bob back to the airport. So everything happens for a reason, glad I did that. Met Bob, Bob's coolest motherfucker ever, I'm telling you. Wait till you see this book. I cannot wait to buy this book. It's gonna be a good read. I might even read it online to y'all so y'all can like let me read to y'all while y'all driving around and shit. I'll read the book so y'all can like do deliveries and do ride share as I'm reading you Bob's book. I don't read the news to you, but I can read you Bob's book. <laughs> what the fuck ever, please. I ain't reading to you motherfuckers. Read it yourself. <laughs> Doing lift right now. It's early in the morning. Like I said, I started with what, 40 in the morning. So now I was at uh, 160 so that's hundred and twenty dollars so far so I've made about hundred and twenty dollars today on this side over on Lyft made about what a hundred and fifteen so I'm, I'm probably close to about 222 30 between apps right now for a Saturday not bad 222 30 and I started with a full tank and so I'm down to about not not a quarter down but just probably an eighth past that. So I'm not even at half a tank yet. So I'm doing pretty good, well over $200. And I'm not even at half tank yet. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. But let's see, what did I do at Uber right here? Oh, here's more trips popping up. This is what I'm looking for this morning. $13 to go to Sky Harbor. Let's do it. All right, I'll do it. $13 to go to Sky Harbor. All right. And this is the thing, it's early in the morning, so everything's gonna be all airport trips right now. I just finished, like I said, I took Bob to the airport earlier. I had a couple of people, they were just people getting off work. They weren't leaving the airport, but they're like, yeah, just getting off work and everything. All right, here we go. Let's see, what do I got over on Uber side? I wanna see how much I made on Uber. So like I said, I got about 120 over there. And over here, I got roughly, let's see, what did I make yesterday? 108 so i got about 230 dollars so far 230 and like i said i'm still running the morning right now turned uber off got lyft running because lyft's got a more surge out uber has no surge at all so i'm not messing with uber i did that uh airport run with them and so now i'm trying to finish out with some lyft rides and it's just been a bunch of short hops you know what i'm saying surge short hops you know eight nine dollars for like you know three four miles quick shit so hopefully I can wrap up, it's what, 4.20 now. Hopefully I can wrap up by like 5.30, 6 o'clock and be done with Saturday. I'm taking Sunday, Monday off. I gotta hit it hard next week. Cause I, like I said, with all those days off I had, I got a lot of catching up I gotta do. So hopefully I can catch up, you know, next Wednesday, when, or Tuesday through Sunday. I'm gonna try to work and see if I can catch up. But with the holidays coming up, I don't know, man. They, they gonna have some shitty ride share deals out. I already know because you know they're gonna be like, oh yeah, we'll give you some free rides. Just, you know, get on Uber, get on Lyft and you get a, you know, a 90% discount. They're gonna just take it away from the driver. Drivers is like, we ain't giving no 90% discounts. Damn it, we got bills to pay. You motherfuckers ain't paying, y'all not getting in. Yeah, Brandon was pretty cool. He was actually headed back to St. Louis. 
he's in Edwardsville. And I was like, hey, that's pretty cool, man. Hey, got a tip. Thank you for the tip, brother. I appreciate that. 441. I probably really got a $10 tip and Lyft gave me 441. Those raggedy motherfuckers. But I'm headed back over to Tempe because they got a little surge going. So I'm going to shoot back over there real quick. See if I can do a couple more airport rides. It's only 4.40 in the morning, so I still got about another hour and a half before I want to call it good. I like to be done by 6 a.m. at home eating breakfast. I got to edit another video from the other night. Woo, y'all going to love that one. Trust me, I'm already halfway through with that one. That one is it's good. It's good. <laughs> so by the time you hear this video, shit, I, you already done seen that one. You'll be like, yeah, Jeff, that was pretty fucking good. That was a good video, man. I love doing videos, but I love my live streams more, but the videos, I'm getting used to them. I'm like, I, I love to kind of cruise with those videos and everything like that, but the live streams, that's when we really get to hang out, have fun, kick it, you know, chop it up in real time. The videos is just me trying to explain, you know, how we out here making this money for anybody who wants to be a driver or even drivers that, you know, they, they want to rekindle their, their faith and what we fucking doing. And a lot of times it's hard to have faith in this because the money ain't there all the time. But I tell people, you know, when the money ain't there, be smart. Fucking pivot. Go do delivery. You know, figure something else out. You know, there's a lot of ways we can make money. We talk about bird dogging for car lots to make little money on the side trying to sell cars and shit. I mean, there's a lot of ways we can make money being independent contractors. We just got to keep going out there taking our shots. But that's basically what my videos are about. You know, getting people to go take shots at, at driving making this money even though we see the ups and the downs the ins and the outs we do the best we can do now, i'm not going up there picking nobody for five bucks hell no it's like i'm like hey you want to go pick up somebody for five dollars nope i'm here to go give me some surge for five dollars shit i'll get a ride when i get there yeah but no i'm telling you man it's like just my videos i just hope they're hitting people in the soul to where they can see you know, this is what we do. We got to value ourselves even if other people don't value us. Even if other YouTubers don't fucking value us. We got to value ourselves. We got to go out here and do this shit for real. All right, I'm going to drop right down to that surge right there. Ooh, it's building up. I'm going to probably hit 450 as soon as I get in. Yeah, we got to value ourselves for who we are. And I know a lot of people, you know, they don't enjoy doing, doing this shit. Oh, hell no. 18 miles for 12 bucks? Hell no. And no surge on that? Doubt it. Shit. Doubt it. I'm about to go give me some surge first. Don't try to give me no shit. I'm getting surge added to this plate. I need a side of surge, please. Give me a, a helping of surge. Fuck that shit. I ain't doing no straight rides. Not when it's big ass pink sitting right there. And I could drop down to some 550. 13 miles for 8 miles. Oh, man. No, I'm not doing that. Because they're, they're trying to give me rides with no surge already. It's like, nope, not doing no schedule fucking rides. And that's the thing. These schedule rides are tricky. Because just like with the one I did with Uber or whatever, you go down there to pick people up, and you find out you got to sit there for fucking 17 minutes. You'd be like, wait a minute. I just took a fucking schedule airport ride, and I got to sit here for 17 minutes? It's like, yep. Don't touch them schedule fucking rides. It's like, no. Wait till you get some surge on your phone, at least. At least get some surge on your phone. Because these motherfuckers is trying, like that schedule ride. Lyft probably sold that ride for like $40. They trying to get me to do it for $13. And they're going to keep $27. It's like, no, nah, I'm cool on that shit. It's like, if that's what you want to do, knock yourself out. But I'm not taking that shit for $13. I just did an airport ride straight for $13 just to get up here. All right, $275. Perfect. Let's see what else we can get on this. But nah, like I said, with these videos, I hope people go out there and, and really want to drive and enjoy driving. 275 bonus? Uh, no, we're not doing that. That's too far north and then coming all the way back south. No, we good. We good. Four dollars. All right, I'm up to four. Can we get 450? Can we get 450? I know I ain't gonna get 550. But give me something short right around this area. Or back to the airport short or airport that's the two chances we got short or port short port no but like i was saying i, I hope people are watching these videos and really kind of understanding how we drive and and want to learn how to do this better and appreciate you know playing chess with these motherfuckers because we know they cheating us they know we know they playing us but we got to keep playing chess with them we got to keep coming up you know 
making sure we get the best rides we can get, the most profit we can get, and don't fuck with them. Don't worry about them. And I think we can do that. We just got to keep on it. Keep on it. 177 But, like I said, that was $40, so it's really 137 137 and 108 on the other side, so it's about $145. 245 245 on the day so far. So about 245 on the day. If I make another $55, that'll be a $300 day. I had a, what, 277 yesterday? Can make three, that'll be, yeah, 577 weekend. Not quite that, that big weekend I had, but it's getting there. I'm getting there. I just got to keep pushing, keep pushing. I know they trying to get us. Keep fucking pushing. Been on a trip. And they took my surge. They tried to send me some shit and I declined it. So all of a sudden, I go back to my main screen and bam. They took surge from all around me, but they left it above me and to the east of me. But they took me out of the surge. That's how these raggedy motherfuckers are. All that was surge. That whole big gap was the surge. It was a huge square that I was sitting in. That was all surge. As soon as I didn't take that ride, what did they do? They took all the surge away except what's around me, trying to get me to drive further this way. So I'm like, you know what? 15 rides for the night. You know, it, it wasn't quite... What was that? Oh, that was that one right there. I just did this one. So, you know, nine miles, $17, almost $2 a mile. Pretty cool. You know, this is what I did with eight hours. Man, look at that. Almost 37 miles for $22. Shit, hell no. And then I got to come all the way back. That's 74 miles for $22. Hell no. But then this is my breakdown. I worked what? Eight hours, four fifty-two, so roughly a little more than fifty dollars an hour. What did Lyft make? Lyft made fourteen dollars off of me so far. So Lyft made fourteen, and eight hours I made four fifty-two, and then I got money over on uh, Uber or whatever. And this is just these raggedy motherfuckers got forty-seven. I got to cash out. The rest I just left on there. So like I said, I'm I'm making sure I'm cashing out my money. I'm getting my money out of here. I'll look at all my downloads pretty soon. Wait a minute. Let me see something. Let's see if I can see my downloads in here. Weekly breakdown. Blah, 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 blah. Where's my payout? There it is. Payout history. I want to see like. Okay. So this morning I took out. Okay. Today I took out 203 and 200. So I took out 403. Is December the 16th? Take it out at 3 a.m., 200. Then I took out 200 last night. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. So I took out 400 bucks today alone. All right, just making sure. And that, that leaves me with probably 40 still sitting on there. Let's see. Yep, 47. Okay, makes sense. This is my 47 sitting on there because I took out the 200. So it leaves me with 47 sitting there. All right, makes sense. Makes sense. So I don't know. It's 4.55 in the morning. I'm not in any surge. They took all the surge away from me. So I'm not doing any rides. Let's go offline. And I think I'm just going to call that a weekend. That's it. I'm done. So I ended up making what? 177, but we subtract 40 because our, so 137 on this side, 137. And then over here, I think I had about 108, I believe. Let me see. What did I get? Last trip was 26. All right, not bad, not bad. I think I had 108 over here. Yep, 108. So 137 and 108 puts me at about 246, something like that, 245. So $245 on a Saturday night. Eh, it's okay, it's okay. Like I said, I, and I took a little break in the middle and everything like that. Let me make sure ain't no surge over here. Hold up for a second. Let me go on Paw Patrol real quick. Make sure there ain't no surge over here. Yep, there ain't no surge over there at all. I'll see if somebody give me an airport ride. Because I got to go back by the airport because I'm about to take my ass home. So let me open both of these up. I'll do an airport for, let's say, $10 to get me home. Airport, 10 bucks will get me home, and I'll do it. But it better be, you know, no more than 10 miles, which means I got to drive somewhere and get somebody, because I'm only, like, maybe four miles from the airport right now. 
So if it's more than four miles, yeah, we're not doing it. I mean, more than 10 miles, I'm not doing it. So we'll see. That's probably an airport right there. Nope. That's about 16 miles going Shan 40. That's way up north. Damn, that's going straight up north right there. Yeah, we're not doing that. So I'm just trying to get somebody to the airport. That's it. Get somebody to the airport and then take my butt home. 10 more dollars because like I said, I got about the 108 and the 137 puts me at 145. About 145. I mean 245. So to put me at 255 if I do this one, 255. Oh, hell no. So I got to go 11 miles south to pick up somebody to come all the way. Man, that's 25 miles of driving for 15 bucks. 26 miles for 15, 16 dollars. Hell no. Driving all the way south to pick up somebody. I'm almost home. I'm not going way down there. Hell no. Hell no. 20, 26 fucking miles for $16. Airport. Man, that's crazy. Crazy. And that's how Lyft is going to end up paying, you know, people 100 bucks. Because all these people probably got reservations to get to the airport. And they ain't got no drivers there willing to fucking, you know, pay well. Because I'm like, for 26 you might want to give me like $35 to go get that person. Not no $16. You might want to give me $35. Then I would drive down there, get them and bring them back and then take my ass home. $35. $16? Now you're going to end up paying 100 bucks to their ass. What is this? $866 that's going north? Nah, that's going north. I'm trying to go south to the airport. So I can't do that. It's going up to Scottsdale and I'm trying to go south to the airport. It's $459. I give them till $505. If I don't have an airport ride by 505, I'm out of here. Uh, 817, that's going north as well. Nope, not. There's some 525 surge right there. They could open it up and give me some of it, but no, no. $3, no, no. Let's turn Uber off. Damn it, wrong one. Hey, there's one 688 right there. Let's go offline. Okay, let's just turn that one off. Yeah, because Uber was trying to do some 688 shit. They probably gonna hit me up on fucking Lyft, be like, hey, come get me. Nope. All right, it's 415. Like I said, they can give me some of that surge if they wouldn't have pulled me out of it and stuck me over here. But nope, they pulled me out of it. So damn, $9 to go all the fucking way down. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. It's 12 miles to go south, all the way down to Chandler. Trying to go to the airport. You're running out of time, Lyft. You got five minutes. Picked up a lady real quick from, uh, she was working. And I brought her just north of where the surge was. I didn't have any surge. Guess what they did? They filled that gap again with surge. Right where I was sitting, as soon as they give me a ride to get me the hell up out of there, they filled the gap with surge again. I was just sitting there. They wouldn't give me no surge. So that was a little quick $4 trip. But she, like I said, I was right down the street from her, picked her up. It was, it was roughly about $2 a mile. I picked her up and got her uh, home or whatever after work. Yeah, well, it was about a dollar a mile, four thirty-three. I'm just north of the uh, of the surge area. And I'm like, these raggedy motherfuckers, they just picked all that surge up. See, they, they, they made it go down again. Nope, not doing that one. I'm trying to get to the airport. They keep trying to send me further and further out. I'm like, nope, not taking nothing, not taking nothing. I mean, I can go straight north, hit 44th, and go straight down, but I think they got something wrong with the, um, let me see, where's up there? It's 44th Street. Yeah, I don't think I could take 44th. Something's wrong up there with the uh, 143 South. So I can't take 143 South. I got to go this way just to get back home, which ain't bad, but it's the fact that they won't give me a ride to the airport now. After I've been sitting here all damn night, they won't give me a ride back to the airport. So I'm like, all right, you raggedy motherfuckers, whatever. And then they pulled me out of that surge. Like, I would have had $4 on this trip. This would have been $8 for four miles if they would have gave me that 4 or $5 surge I had. I had the $5 surge on my phone. It was a $4 trip. It would have gave me $9 for four miles. But, of course, they took the 5 because they sent me a bullshit trip. And I thought I was going to be able to decline it and be still sitting in surge. As soon as I declined it, they took the whole surge out. So I'm sitting there with no surge around me. Like, don't ever count on their ass to leave the surge there for you if you decline a ride. You got to hear your tub and those motherfuckers to keep your surge. Because I'm learning how these little, that how they want to act. 
They want to sit there and be skimpy and shit with the surge. Like I said, they put it up there as soon as I left. They put the surge back as soon as I left. So I know that they surged in an area and they're charging people surge pricing in that area. But they just didn't want to give me the fucking surge. So they took it away from me. Oh, raggedy motherfuckers. Here we go. 5.30 in the morning, 221 miles left till empty. Didn't quite use a half a tank, but would I make 108 plus about 150? Well, now I'll take about 40, about 120. Yeah, so I made about a 240 today, about 240, 245. I think that's where I'm going to end it. I'm just not going back out.